So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna take a quick look at the first ever Tenet weapon on the channel and it is going to be the one and only Tenet Envoy, which is a cold based corpus rocket launcher. Now the Envoy is a Tenet weapon, so the only way to get it is from a sister of Parvos. More specifically, by defeating a sister of Parvos that has the Tenet Envoy as her weapon. Now this is a fairly lengthy process and I also already made a full video guide on the sisters of Parvos, so if you want to know how to do it, you can simply check out the video that's gonna be linked in the video description. The Tenet Envoy is a Master Rank 16 primary rocket launcher that does 100 impact damage with the actual projectile and then 640 cold damage in an explosion that has a radius of 8 meters and 80% fall off. But these are only the base stats, you're also gonna get a bonus element or even an elemental combo on the weapon which is gonna add more damage depending on the progenitor warframe that you spawn the sister with. And other than that, the Envoy comes with solid 28% crit chance and above average 2.6 times crit multiplier and good status chance of 24%. The only questionable stats here are the fire rate of 0.833 which is actually not too bad for a rocket launcher, it's actually quite decent and the reload time, it is 4 seconds, however it's not as bad as it seems. Well, for some, because while holster, the Envoy will reload one round every second. So if you don't mind holstering it from time to time, you don't actually have to worry about the reload at all. Now, the Envoy also comes with a bit of a unique mechanic, because while you can just fire it straight up like any other rocket launcher, you also have a rocket guidance system that activates when you aim down sights. And it's really cool, because the rockets are very responsive and you can even softlock them onto targets. Plus, there is also this very satisfying beeping noise that gets faster as the rockets lock on. It is very cool. Also, the reload is sick. Now, when it comes to the build on the weapon, it kind of depends on whether or not you're going to utilize the holstering mechanic where the weapon reloads itself. I myself am not much of a holstering herald, so I have to run primed fast hands to speed it up. But if you don't mind the holstering mechanic or you even use it on other weapons and you kind of simulate this effect with other mods, you're going to be able to get much more damage out of this. Also, just like Kuva weapons, the Tenet weapons gain extra capacity as you put on more and more forma up to a maximum of 5 and if you want to squeeze the absolute maximum out of them in terms of mastery and also unlock the ability to install a lens, you're going to have to put on 5 forma. But if you just want to get some DPS and reload speed, you're going to have to run a 3-ish forma build which is going to be 2 Vs and a dash. And the setup is going to be serration for damage, split chamber for multi shot, critical delay for a ton of extra crit chance and the negative fire rate doesn't really have that much of an effect. Then we have vital sense for critical damage followed by either vigilante supplies for the ammo mutation and crit or cautious shot because this weapon since the explosion radius is so huge is going to stagger you very easily. So if you don't have prime sure footed definitely run cautious shot. Then we have Hunter Munition, so we get Slash Prox 30% of the time when we crit for a ton of extra damage, Primed Fast Hands for a ton of extra reload speed which actually makes the reload manageable without having to holster the weapon and we top it off with Malignant Force and Rhyme Rounds for viral damage and status. Also if you have Primary Merciless and you've unlocked the Arcane slot, definitely put it on. Now the damage you're gonna get with this setup is pretty girthy, both in terms of the upfront explosion as well as the Slash Prox that you will occasionally leave behind. And it will also scale really well because the only element you can proc is viral plus the element you have on the weapon as a bonus from the sister. So it's actually fairly reliable in proccing both viral and slash with a big crit explosion. And since the damage is very high plus the crit multiplier is way above average as well, when you do crit and leave behind the slash proc, it is gonna do a ton of damage. And that's really good, especially considering that this is not the strongest version of the build since we are using primed fast hands to fix the reload speed rather than holding holstering the weapon to reload it passively. However, it's not how I build the weapon. Not entirely. I very much prefer this build instead. Which is actually the reason why I have 4 forma rather than 3 for the first build. Now the way this build works is pretty straightforward. It's a big boom. We run Stormbringer and Infected Clip so we just go for as much corrosive damage as possible. I still run Primed Fast Hands because I don't want to holster the weapon. And then I run Primed Firestorm which takes the explosion radius from 8 meters to 13.28. <laughs> And that, my dudes and dudettes, is quite something. You just pull the trigger and BAM! Everybody's dead, Dave. Though bear in mind you will need Prime Chore footed 
or cautious shot with this, because this thing will stagger you from like three rooms away. This thing is ridiculous. Do you hear me? Ridiculous. Absolutely bloody ridiculous. And you should absolutely 100% get it, because it's nuts. This weapon is awesome. The reload time is a bit of a bummer if you want to reload the weapon rather than holster it, and I would very much recommend some kind of ammo mutation, because the ammo maximum isn't great. So if you don't want to invest into running prime short footed on your frame and you're gonna run cautious shot, you need to get some kind of ammo mutation or at least vacuum and pray that you're gonna get enough sniper ammo. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Go and get this weapon. It's amazing. And as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.